going to dive in deep. My name is Paul Barrow. Welcome back into Tech Path. Joining me today is Mr. Frank Mong, who's the COO over at Helium. Great to have you. Hey, Paul. How are you? Excellent. Excellent. Nice to see you again. Let's get into a few things here. First of all, you guys uh, just released your launch. Uh, that was big news. Uh, you look at a nationwide approach now with Helium Mobile. And I think, you know, in general, Frank, when you think about a launch of this nature, for you guys, what are you gauging in terms of success? What, what is it that you're looking at says, hey, this was a good deal. This was, we think we can do a lot more work, whatever it might be. It's a great question. It's, it's, uh, it's actually very, I think, poignant to, to let folks know that this is a culmination of lots of things and lots of building, Paul, which you followed through the entire way, all the oh, way yeah. from you know, the original Helium team uh, mm -hmm. from 2013, open sourcing, the IoT and blockchain technology uh, that was called the Helium blockchain, um, giving that to the community, uh, migrating it all to Solana. Uh, and now as a team, um, uh, which we called Nova Labs, trying to figure out how to maximize usage on that original idea of creating massive global networks uh, through decentralized communities. Everything sort of culminated together over the last four months, which kind of leads up to your question. Yeah. You know, we launched the CBRS radios, if you recall. We did a deal mm -hmm. with T-Mobile, partnering with them to fill in the gaps for, for our cellular network, for, our, for the mobile plans. You know, we, we activated discovery mapping, which we can talk more about that. We had, yeah. you know, mobile rewards, $5 uh, phone plan in Miami as our first launch in Pilot City. And you know, we try and we continue to try different marketing tactics to reach different audience groups like University of Miami is a great partner of ours now. And most recently, we, we announced this really low cost and easy to install indoor hotspot, outdoor hotspot. Now we're nationwide with $20 a month for phone plans, boosted locations. It's a lot, but we needed all of these pieces to come together really over the last, I would say, two years now from the acquisition of Freedom Fi. Boris and Alex and team to to where we are today, which is we have now executed and we're delivering to everyone in the United States a low cost phone plan that the traditional carriers cannot deliver. So if anyone's yeah. listening, stop getting <laughs> fleeced by your yeah, telco right. plan. This is the phone plan that you pay probably north of 60 to $120 a month, yeah. get out of it and join us, hellohealing.com. But what is the process right now? Is it easy enough for me to jump over from a T-Mobile or, or from a Verizon or from an AT&T to be able to jump onto this network? Of course, when you first launch something like this, it's problematic. You, know, you have lots of little issues, little bugs. But because we did this pilot with Miami, the folks there really helped us, gave us feedback on little things, nuances, making the flow a lot easier, a lot better, going from two SIMs to one SIM. All of those things were learnings that we truly appreciate and value from the community. And I think what you'll find if you try today, go on to hellohealing.com and you start the process, it is super simple from our end. I think within two to five minutes, you should be ready to go. Now, okay. every traditional phone plan makes it very difficult to leave. So you got to understand how to like leave your yes. current phone plan. And that's going to be different. That's going to be different for every, uh, every telco carrier that you're subscribed with. Uh, depending on what brand you're with today, they have a process. I would say the best thing to do is educate yourself before you start. And then we, of course, have support uh, on chat that can walk you through it if you do get into trouble. And we, and our support team is well-versed with the other companies as well. So they'll walk you through how to get off of your current plan and how to migrate and transition your phone number to our plan. Now, that's, that's of course, one way to do it. If you're not ready for that, you can always just add on Helium Mobile to your existing plan as an add-on. Most modern phones support multiple eSIMs. eSIMs are these like identifiers that connect your phone to right. the network. And so yeah. you could do that where you can connect to both the Helium mobile network as well as your current traditional network. The price comparison is, is pretty That's dramatic. That's a lot easier. Yeah, the, the price com comparison here, pretty dramatic, obviously unlimited talk, data, text, et cetera, nationwide coverage. 
But in terms of coverage outside of those hotspots, what happens then? Do you simply just do an exchange onto you know, uh, the T-Mobile towers when you're out there in, in areas that are not covered by the, by the helium hotspot? Yeah, so what happens is this. Whenever you are not near a helium hotspot or not at home or not at work where you tend to be on your Wi-Fi, you'll, you'll be on T-Mobile, our partner. So what we've done is we've struck a deal with T-Mobile so that as you're driving to and from work, to and from picking up your kids from their soccer game or, or p- piano lessons, you're always connected. That way you don't have to worry. If something happens on the side of the road, you're pulled over, you need to call a tow truck, no problem. Uh, okay, so earning mobile tokens, uh, that's of course kind of a novel mm-hmm. scenario that plays into, I think, business in Web3 as a whole. People are starting to realize there's some opportunities here. I wanted to play a clip for you because we pulled some clips together of people earning mobile tokens. And I think in many cases, they were a bit surprised. Listen in. Phone service that is on steroids. And in 24 hours, I made $2, which is not bad. Basically, he's going to pay for the phone service plus more. In the last three months, I've made $55 from discovery mapping. This is almost enough to pay my plan three times over. 5,000 to 6,000 um, uh, mobile tokens a day. Currently, I have $23. I had like 100, but I set up the prepay. I have $17 worth of credit. If I can pay up another three months, and then pay up another three months, and then pay up another three months. And rewards are claimed. So, whoa. 11.15 for mobile tokens today. Yesterday was $10 today. Well, that's because mobile went up, I think. Yeah, I mean, there's a few things. Obviously, uh, mobile, the the chart, if you look at what's happening right now, back here in um, early December, you guys get the word, and I think everybody kind of realized, hey, this is what's happening. But even those videos were coming from a, a time in which that had not been completely launched. This, to me, is that next evolution of loyalty, which we've talked about many times on the show before, because it does kind of create that stickiness you know, for this. Uh, in terms of boosting, because I know you guys are, have started a new program there. And um, let me kind of go to this tweet right here. Boosted location, taking us a uh, trip down memory lane, kind of just uh, deploying on mobile hotspots. In this particular case, first of all, how does it work? Uh, what's the process mm-hmm. and what has been the engagement so far? What happens is our team gets information from all the folks that you showed in those videos and anyone that has on their phone opted in for what we call discovery mapping. And that's just anyone with a phone that has our service on Healing Mobile, you flip a switch, you agree to giving us sort of your location. What we do is we take that information of where you tend to travel, where you tend to spend your time. And what that helps us with is discover if that area has the people built cell towers, is Healing Mobile's you know, ecosystem of individuals who have stuck up, you know, personalized cell towers, are they nearby? If the answer is yes, awesome, right? Then that person that's providing coverage is earning mobile tokens. And the person that's providing the data of where they're located is also earning mobile tokens as a reward for sharing that info, right? On both sides, everybody wins. Now, if you're sharing the info and you're somewhere in Miami, let's say, right, at Art Basel, as we were talking about earlier, Mm -hmm. and you're sharing that info, we see, oh, wow, Paul's out there on Healing Mobile Service. He's sharing his location, but there isn't any people power cell towers around. There's no Healing Mobile cell towers. Um, Great. What that does is we look at that data and we go, oh, wow, it's not just Paul. It's this massive community of thousands of folks that's gathered on this area, this neighborhood, this street. What we will do is then we'll say, hey, let's boost those locations and let's encourage the builders of the Helium mobile network, people that okay. are really into building, expanding on networks, putting up people power cell towers, let's get them over there. Now, the incentive to get them over there is that if they do go and install a Helium mobile hotspot or a CBRS radio, they'll earn you know exponentially more mobile tokens as a reward because that's a really high dense, high density, high foot traffic area of Helium mobile users that really do need that connectivity. That's what boosted locations does. And we, we don't just randomly boost locations. We take the data that's provided by discovery mapping from our subs, subscribers, to help us make those intelligent locations, uh, decisions. So what has been the big, uh, the big issue with you guys? Have you run into anything that you're like, hey, we need to really focus in on this particular area? 
Yeah, I think first and foremost, I would just say always, we constantly strive to improve our user experience. Our team is fanatical about creating amazing UX and UI. And for us, offering folks phone plans, not only that's low cost fair, where we are not gouging you, it's mm-hmm. also a, an experience that you want to be, you want to be delighted. You want to love your phone plan. Who, like, I can't remember the last time anyone said that. I love my phone plan from XYZ company. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to hate on anybody, but I don't think anyone's ever said that in the last 50 years. So I, I want to be that. And I think all of our engineers, our entire company is striving for that. So we're never happy with the state of our, our application, the state of our support, the state of our overall user interface, the website. I appreciate that you think it's beautiful. You love it. We want to keep making it better and better. And we want to be that alpha example across the industry uh, everywhere that this is how you should engage with consumers. We, we right. should be that beacon of light. That's our goal. Now, the other thing that was unexpected for us, and, and I want to share this, is that we offer this $5 phone plan in Miami. And actually, it was quite hard to encourage folks to jump in because they thought there must be there must be some kind of, you know, right. catch yeah. to this. It's way too cheap. And so for us, it was just learning about pricing, learning about price elasticity in the space, which we really didn't know. So if you don't know, the only thing you can do is go test. So we learned that lesson. We learned it and we got the feedback from our consumers. So now nationwide, we're at $20 a month because that's what, that's what everyone feels is fair to pay. All right, I know you guys have a couple of promos coming out. This is just coming in one right here. Happy holidays. We've got the 12 days of giveaways happening. What's what's going on here? Do we get uh, free service? How's this work? Yeah, so every day is going to be different. Um, and the funny thing is, m- our marketing team won't tell me what those things are. <laughs> what it is. <laughs> uh, because they, they, uh, they, they, they've learned that Amir and I tend to leak, and they don't want us to leak this stuff. They want to keep us <laughs> surprised. It. So day one, well, there's day one here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You, you want an iPhone 15. Uh, I think I think there's some pretty cool prizes beyond iPhone 15s. I know that's a big mm-hmm. one. But just keep an eye out in a, for all your uh, the folks watching your show. Just yep. keep checking our Twitter feed, Hello Helium, and check and just make sure you know you know um, you, you check out the next one and the next one. I actually I think it was Helium Mobile is our is our uh, handle on uh, on Twitter. So check that out. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I was looking at your network stats right here. Active hotspots around 38, almost 4,000. As folks remember, we've got, I would say, two distinctive lines of people built cell towers. One Mm -hmm. is called CBRS. Consider that like very professional oriented. You likely want to go hire a professional installer. They have to climb onto your roof. They have to get some tests done on like location and azimuth and tilt to get a, a very accurate reading on where your hotspot is. So that's like the professional level CBRS radios that you can get online at hellohealing.com. Now, what we've done recently is launch two additional, I would say, very consumer-friendly, very low-cost versions of that. One is an indoor one that you can basically put anywhere. So if you're trying to get your foot in the door on building your own cell tower and you want to earn some rewards in mobile tokens – Get that. It's simple. Yep. There it is. It's a black, you know, square box, kind of a little bit bigger than an Apple TV. What yep. you want to do is plug that into the wall, uh, into your Ethernet cable, to your modem, and then you just put it by the window facing the street um, and let it ride, right? And if you, if you feel adventurous and you want to go get an outdoor one because you feel like, hey, you know what? You, your neighbors, even you, could use one out in your front yard or your backyard, we have the outdoor versions and that's a, a yeah. white colored, off white colored, a rectangular version. Again, very simple to install, very low cost. We, we really focus on bringing the cost of cell towers down. So the indoor one's like 250. I think the outdoor one is what, 500 bucks or something like that. Yeah. All very cheap, very low cost. And again, super easy to install for any consumer. Again, the app and the interface is simple. Again, if you guys have done it and you have feedback, tell us. We want to hear from you. We want to make things better and better over time. Um, so kudos to you guys. In terms of when you look at the challenges, and this was a tweet that um, actually people had clipped you and I's last interview. And this was in reference <laughs> of building out, I, you probably saw this, uh, building yeah. out a mobile network, yeah. you know, no telecom yeah. experience, yeah, et cetera, yada, yada. 
So this is a challenge I think a lot of people look at and they say, well, who is helium? Why would they, with no experience in this era, area, be able to truly make a dent on something which has been so legacy uh, driven in our lives for the last three decades? Why, why do you think you guys can do that? I think this idea that connectivity needs to be everywhere for everyone, including humans and machines, is mm -hmm. coming to fruition. That, that's sort of who we are. We're, we are, I think, by nature, wireless technology folks at Nova Labs. That's how yep. we started. I think our strength continues to be that. We just happen to love building great interfaces into that technology. For us, the idea of blockchain and crypto is truly a feature. Either it's an incentive that perfectly matches for individuals to support and build networks with us, or it's security technology based off of crypto, mm -hmm. cryptographic technology that really right. supports better, better security overall. So that's sort of how we see the world. It's okay. We, we, you know, we're quite used to people not believing us or comparing us to other scams. It's quite you know, offensive, of course, because we've been at this for so long. But at the same time, the market that we're going after is so large. It really right. doesn't matter. There's so much room for everyone to grow, different approaches to grow within that. So I think it's okay. I mean, I'm, I'm just not so worried about others. I'm not really worried about competition. We're, we're worried about ourselves, our ability to execute so that our customers see value and what we're delivering on this, this massive global network that we want to get to be super productive and useful. And it's a utility that everyone can take advantage of. So yeah. that's our mission. That's our goal. You know, what someone else wants to say and do, that's, that's up to them. And it's fine. As a reminder, yeah, Paul, the telecommunications industry that we're trying to disrupt mm -hmm. is like eight to nine trillion dollars. We're one company. Right. Come on. We need thousands of companies like us to go at it. In the comparison of scale and the capacity, especially, I think it, what was the number a certain percentage, less than 5% of a network traffic, and you were gaining up to around 50% of the overall traffic on, um, on T-Mobile's network. With that being the case, or that potentially being the case there, how much, what's, what's kind of the, I guess that Goldilocks point that you guys feel, this is how many users we need to really make a, a, a huge leap forward here? Yeah, we don't know yet. It's too small right now, I would say. I think we're, just over 12,000 subscribers overall. Since opening up to the rest of the country, we've added a couple more thousand. So we're over that 12,000 mark, but still that's early days. I think we truly won't know what metrics matter the most that makes the most impact until we're in that 100,000 subs, which hopefully, you know, by mid next year or the end of next year, we're well over that. Once we have that at scale, I think that we'll be able to see a good baseline of how much yeah. traffic is offloaded to the people power to cell towers. And, that, and that's what matters most is we do want the majority of folks that use our service are using the people power cell towers. This is a report that was done by Van Eck. We did a, a full show on this, guys, but I want to pull out the section in kind of some of the advancements, with, especially within the ecosystem for Solana. But Helium was mentioned in here, decentralized network, obviously hotspots. But they, they were talking about 100,000 paying subs for, its, you know, for your program um, potentially could be the scale. Now, how fast do you feel that you guys could reach 100,000 paying subscribers? I don't know. I think we can reach it fairly quickly. So far, as I mentioned, what, uh, since August, we've been, what, three, four months now? Right. We're at 12,500 12, 12, or so yeah. subs. Limited. I mean, if we just do nothing more, we don't improve, we'll get there. Yeah. You know, in, in some time, a year, year and a half or so. But to me, that's too slow. So I think, I think we need to speed up. We need to find uh, better ways to reach folks and get subscribers to come onto our network. Yeah. And as we do, we'll, we'll pour gasoline on that fire and drive oh, that growth. Sure. So, yeah. you know, yeah, I think, I think we'll have to do it. I think, honestly, I think we have to get there by the end of next year, hopefully sooner. You know, so I think you might be right. You may be going much faster than everyone's anticipating, especially when you're going into something that is so, I guess, so mainstream as, as mobile. Everybody has one. You know, you, everybody's a customer or could be a customer of Helium. Everyone with a mobile phone is our customer 
and everyone that doesn't have a mobile phone, which, and they're about to get one for Christmas, for their birthdays, yeah. should be our customer, right? So every day there's exponential growth there. I, I think we just have to keep trying different things. And that's what, you know, Amir and I talk about internally with our company. And that's, we, well, I want to get the message across to our Solana community and our, our helium community and all of those yeah. other entrepreneurs that are trying to build something like this. Just try everything. We, we are just literally trying everything. And you cannot assume that you know anything about this space, especially the folks that keep thinking traditional. Traditional is the past. How people yeah. want their service and how they consume the data moving forward could be different. And if they're all living off of the past, they should know that nobody likes their service provider. Oh, not one sure. person yeah. I know loves their phone plan. So let's not repeat that, right? Yeah, for sure. It doesn't matter if I'm I know just... anything about the telco industry. I prefer yeah. not to. I prefer <laughs> to try something that actually makes people happy. Hey, Frank, it's always fun uh, diving in deep with you. I appreciate your time today. Thanks for coming into the show. We appreciate it. Thank you, Paul. Good to see you. You bet. All right, so you guys are tuned in on the podcast side of things. Jump over here to the YouTube channel and make sure and subscribe. And also, if you've not liked a handful of videos uh, and you've been a, you know, maybe an audience member for quite some time, do that now because that's one of the things that really kind of helps spread the algorithm to help others learn more about what's happening in Web3. Obviously, we cover all things uh, crypto-related blockchain. The growth of this sector is becoming a major player out there. So hopefully you guys are part of it. If you're not following me on X, make sure and catch me there. It's just at Paul Barron. We'll catch you next time right here on TechBath.